Hey, what is going on, guys? This is Connor Semsky, and today I'm bringing you guys a new QA. Haven't done one of these in a little while. Uh, basically, I asked you guys on Twitter to send me your questions. Didn't do some stupid hashtag that a bunch of other YouTubers require. I just don't give a fuck. Uh, basically, you guys tweeted me the questions, and I'm going to answer some of them right now. So, the first question comes from Brandon. He asks, Do you believe in extraterrestrial beings, whether it be in our galaxy or another galaxy? If so, why? If not, why not? So, uh, I definitely believe in aliens. Uh, we live in a small ass fraction of what the ex rest of existence really is. Um, if you guys have seen what has been known and discovered so far of our universe, we are literally nothing. We are literally a dot. There's so many different galaxies and just like, it's pretty much endless. We, it, we can't even comprehend in our brains how big the universe is. And it's just like, the fact that people think there's no other life forms, I think that's really close minded. So yeah, I definitely believe in aliens. Tangy asks, best tips if you're in a slump? So this is a really good question. Um, I've been in some really bad slumps. I think the worst slump I was ever in was like maybe February of like during AW. I literally didn't win a fucking match for like two weeks. It was really bad. Um, but yeah, basically the best way that I found to get out of slumps is uh, number one, change your sensitivity. If it has to do with your shot being off and stuff, Definitely a sensitivity change will help. Um, you may find yourself just changing things up. Uh, it'll get you out of that slump, that continuous grind and you can't do anything. Uh, once you start changing things up, it kind of helps to uplift things. Um, another thing that I know that some people like to do is they'll make like a ringer and play on a different account. I don't know why this works, but you have like a nice fresh account. You're redoing all your classes on it. Uh, you got a nice new name and stuff that you just play on for a little bit till you get out of your slump. Uh, I know that's a kind of popular thing that people do. And also another thing that I like to do is just switch up your classes. Honestly, uh, switch up like some of your game settings, maybe turn colorblind stuff on. Basically what you want to do is switch things up uh, a little bit, not too much, but you want to switch things up as much as possible without like completely giving up your regular play style so that way you can hopefully get out of that slump but yeah that's just my opinion noah c319 asks do you think infinite warfare is going to ruin call of duty beyond the point of no return for the series uh infinite warfare itself i mean I, the game is already so badly hated at this point it doesn't even matter how good the game is the game could be the fucking best call of duty of all time people are still gonna hate on it just because of the setting and stuff it's basically at the point where that game's never gonna have a positive light shed on it so that kind of sucks i kind of feel bad because no one's even played the game yet i do really dislike how it looks so far i don't really want it to go to space and all the movement and stuff but um i really think that the saving grace and like the last thread not the very last thread, but one of the last things that COD is holding on to right now is its previous previous successor, which was Call of Duty 4. And that's really what made the series boom again. And I think Call of Duty is starting to get old enough to the point where it can start recycling some of its old stuff. After some times, a lot of things go through this, whether it's like music, uh, movies, they start reusing old things because there's new generations of people that may have not experienced the older classic stuff. Um, for example, let's say uh, like the Michael Myers movies and stuff, they got like reused and stuff because people that may be a little bit younger didn't see the older version, so they remake movies and stuff. It's a very popular thing. Almost every form of art does it. So uh, video games, on the other hand, I believe are going to start doing the same thing. That's why you have so many games being remastered. So um, COD 4, I think, is going to be a very, very huge success. It looks fucking phenomenal so far. X Pharaoh asks, why don't you enjoy it when the game gets too competitive? Now, this is a good question. I ran about this on Twitter all the fucking time, but uh, basically, like, I, I don't like playing COD when it gets too competitive. I'm not, like, this fucking god player. A lot of people have this, like, perception about me that I'm some fucking SND god or something. Not the case whatsoever. Basically, I just play the game like any other fucking person. I play GB, sometimes wagers, and sometimes, like, once in a fucking blue moon tournaments. I just play for fun. I literally only play for fun. I make YouTube videos and it's just fun for me. I don't really need to prove that I'm the best. I don't need the game to get that competitive. 
there's a lot of people that enjoy that if you want to really be the best at call of duty go ahead that's totally your route i don't i totally like support anyone trying to do that but uh it's just not for me i just play to have fun and stuff so that's kind of why i don't like it when it gets too competitive because i'm not really trying to make it that competitive to me gbs are like the public match version of competitive cod if that makes any sense uh it's kind of just like chill lay back have some friends and you just chill and play some xp it's a lot of fun for me uh that's just my personal opinion ducky tucky asks do you prefer pick 10 or pick 13 honestly i prefer neither i wish it would go back to mw2 where everyone had an assault rifle a red dot sight or fmj a fucking pistol grenade two stuns and your three perks i i don't want all this combination stuff it kind of mixes up the game too much but if i had to pick between the pick 10 or pick 13 i would prefer the pick 10 it just makes the game a little bit more uh reduced i guess you could say balanced restricted um i i don't like it when like in aw dude you could have had your three kill streaks but no one fucking ran that because all the streaks in that game were dog shit uh it was basically just an expanded version of the pick 10 and it kind of created chaos. Now, if the kill streaks were actually good in AW, like if I had an RC car or like lightning strikes or something that could actually be useful, maybe they would be using stuff, but I don't really know how it would work out. Um, AW is a fucking weird ass game, <laughs> but uh, if I had to pick between those two, I'd probably pick the pick 10. Last question comes from OG Vic, and I kind of touched on this before, but he asked, do you think the COD franchise will be as good as it once was? maybe dude it all depends on how this next game goes i mean i think we should really try to just enjoy black ops 3 for what it is right now i still love black ops 3 i know i'm a fucking freak for saying that a lot of people will disagree but um i don't know dude i, I literally I, I literally like black ops 3 still and i don't know i think we should just try to enjoy the game before everything starts going downhill and all the negativity really starts hitting call of duty hard uh i think we should really just savor this time that we have left uh with black ops 3 so that's that I hope you guys did enjoy the video if you did remember to leave a like rating i might do some more of these soon uh depending on how this video does but that's that I hope you guys did enjoy and i'll see you in the next one peace